Co Cigar Page. Welcome to the inaugural episode of the Big Burn Show. Uh, this is some new program we're putting up on the YouTube channel, and uh, it's going to be kind of podcast format. We're going to try to bring it to you every week or two. Uh, I'll be hosting every week. For you guys who know me, I'm Alex Benson, and super pumped to roll this out. Uh, we'll get going here in a minute, but we're going to try to keep each episode short and concise. Let me fill you guys in a little bit on how the format's going to go. Every week I'll have a guest host with me. Uh, this week we've got our man, Tim the Beard Blythe. He'll be joining me here in a minute. And uh, our guest host will usually be somebody else from Cigar Page, somebody else you've probably seen on, on some of our other programming. And uh, we'll get a little bit of good stuff, cigar banter, cigar news, uh, you know, talk a little bit about some of the things we're smoking. But I think what's really cool about the show, two things I think you guys are going to find the most interesting is, number one, every episode we're going to give away a ton of free stuff. Uh, I'm going to get more into that once Tim joins, but it's definitely a reason why you're going to want to make sure if you haven't already to subscribe to our channel, uh, and make sure you turn on your notifications because the free stuff is going to, uh, your, your odds of winning are greatly enhanced. If you're one of the first viewers and you're logged into YouTube, uh, to participate by way of the comment section. Uh, the other part of this, I think you're going to love is our special guests. Every episode will have somebody different. Super excited that our inaugural uh, video, we've got Jonathan Drew going to join us today, which is unreal. Uh, I don't think there's a bigger name in the cigar industry uh, in general. And to have him on our first episode to help us roll this out, it's going to be such an honor to have him. So uh, thanks again for tuning in here. And let's get Tim on. And again, uh, the show's a big burn. And uh, I hope you guys like it. Please feel free to leave you know some suggestions, comments. Like anything, it'll be a work in progress. So let's get Tim on and we'll get rocking. Here he is, Tim Blythe, Tim the Beard. Blythe, what's up, bro? How's it going, Alice? Good to be well, here. Welcome to the Big Burn, our first episode. And we got Jonathan Drew here. I'm sure you heard. That's huge. That That is why I'm here, actually. I, I saw your invite and I was like, no thanks. And then you mentioned that uh, Jonathan was to be here and... Yeah. I mean, now you got to do it. Now you got to do I it. I got to do it. Yeah. So for people who don't know, you know, over at Cigar Page, hey, we've been working together for like 20 years, like various companies, various things. It's great that we're back together again. But what people I don't think realize is that uh, all the great goodness of low pricing at Brand Chopper is the result of just no. this guy right here, Tim Black. No, He's no. the discount king. No, no. <laughs> it's a team. It's a team effort. It's a team effort. I'm just, I'm, I'm just a member of the team, and um, it's a great team to be a part of, and we have fun every day. And um, you know, we there's a couple sayings that we have here, and one is "can't stop fighting for the customer," yeah. and um, it, it's it's more than just a saying. It's like the mantra here, and we really believe in it. And um, you know, it, it's it's what we do every day. Dude, I got to tell you, man, uh, I know this This is like a new show, and hopefully everybody loves it. We're, and we're not going to do too much bannering back and forth, you and me. I mean, everyone, let's Thank be honest. Probably too, they're probably tuning in to, to just see Jonathan, so we're not going to keep them uh, waiting too long. But did you know, Tim Blythe, that we're going to be giving a lot of shit away? Um, I know now, and uh, yeah. I love that. That's, that's one of my favorite things to do, uh, give well, shit away. Let me tell you what the rules are so that I can also explain them to our viewers. But basically, every episode, we're going to be giving away some free stuff. It's pretty easy. Uh, just need to be signed in to YouTube so you're ready to uh, make posts in the comments section under your account. We'll give you a buzzword. Uh, first person to write the buzzword in the comments wins. Uh, we'll probably give stuff away, you know, at least one, two, three times an episode. You can only win once. Uh, if you want to keep going and try to be the first one with the buzzword, uh every time that's fine but if you've already won we're going to go to the next person uh so that you can't win twice so does that make sense you think tim or do i need to yeah it makes it makes total sense and um yeah. my my only question is what are we giving away this time oh yeah bro courtesy of our friends at drew estate and honor having drew on they sent us this kick-ass uh deadwood like swag bag kit thing it's got this cigar bag to hold cigars like a case and a lighter and a cutter they told me they're sending it to me and i was like Oh, that that sounds cool. And then when I got it, I, you saw it, right, man? The thing is badass. Uh the black leather. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what we're giving away. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That that's super. It it it's it's hefty. It looks like yeah. it has a lot of like little pockets for all your lighters and cutters and 
Uh, there is a little spot for cigars as well, but it's real classy looking. It's uh, it's all real leather from what I can tell. Had a good smell to it. You know, we opened it up. It's like, yeah, man. It's legit. yeah so well, let's give one away that. now. Um, we're going to we're going to yeah. do the first giveaway right now. Uh, first person to uh, write the word um, ashtray into the comment section will be our winner ashtray. And I just want to remind everybody that it's a great idea for you guys. And if you haven't already subscribed and turned on your notifications to be advised when our new shows are coming up, best way to win is to be the first guy to tune in to watch. Uh, you know, obviously uh, these were pre-recorded. So uh, if you are the first one to watch, then there's a great chance you're going to be the first one to win some free shit. So that's great. You know what we should do, Alex? We should, mm. uh, whoever is the last person to leave should be the winner. That would be a true uh, test yeah, of attrition. Yeah, right? last man standing. Good yeah, God. Like they have to sit through the whole thing to win. Yeah. If you think you've won and you've posted in the comments, uh, another point of clarification, uh, obviously there's some direct messaging limitations on YouTube. If you believe that you are the winner of the contest, please email us at VIP at cigarpage.com. So we can verify you are who you say you are and get you squared away with the free shit. Awesome. Nice. So what are you smoking? Uh, I'm smoking a sample. Um, I know it's probably not very fun for the uh, viewers to hear me smoking an unbanded sample, but um, it's part of what we do here. You know, yeah, we man. get samples from a lot of different manufacturers and um, we, we, we smoke them and try to keep an open mind. Um, not be too, um, you know, don't think about who made it or what the blend is. Uh, just smoke it and give your honest opinion on it. Is it quality? Is it, is it good? You know, the flavor, uh, but, but it's less about tasting notes and more about just overall enjoyability. Um, and it might not be something that I enjoy or Alex, you enjoy, but right. you, you have to kind of look at it as like, will the customer or will someone out there that uh, a part of the customer base, will they enjoy it? Um, so it's, believe it or not, there's some challenges involved in, in smoking samples and, um, uh, giving your honest opinion because it's sometimes difficult to do, but I think collectively, uh, as a group, we, we do a pretty good job of it. So, yeah, man, uh, yeah, you know, sample. that's how I always feel about people when they're rating cigars and stuff. It's always like, Hey man, is it balanced? Is it burn well? Is it well-constructed? You know, those are just things that, that are good for to just, if you have a good cigar, maybe it's not what you like. But, you know, to your point, and I think that that's always important when we uh, when we do a lot of that. Film. Man, I, people are probably watching this going, man, like, this guy's got like the worst job in the world. <laughs> He's got to fucking smoke cigars all day. In, like, in, in our defense, though. Pairing rarely, it with beers. Like, oh, man. <laughs> in, our, in, in our defense, rarely are we just smoking cigars. Normally, it's like yeah. you're doing, you know, three other things while <laughs> smoking a sample. So, you know, your mind's on the sample for sure, but. It's not like we're just sitting around smoking cigars and doing nothing else. But right, I mean, right now I sort of am, but normally I'd be working while smoking yeah. a sample. But yeah, it's a pretty sweet job. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it is, it is pretty awesome. Well, this new show format yeah. is going to be awesome because we're going to run this like every week or two. We're going to have special guests on. Um, in fact, you know, our inaugural episode right now is uh, Jonathan Drew. Next episode yes. is going to be uh, Matt Booth. And okay. Boothy. We're going to have uh, Luciano on. We're going to have uh, E.P. Carrillo, Sam Phillips from La Polina. I mean, did the the Rocky Patel, the, the the guest list is long and distinguished. We might even have Keith on as a guest. Actually, I was talking to Keith the other day. I was like, "Yeah, man, everybody loves that guy's story." So, but uh, no, man, I'm smoking a Rocky. Very happy ALR. Big shout out on this one. You know, he actually like legit cedar ages these in the aging room for like an extra year. I know that's oh, always shit. like his story and people always say that, but I was just, a, I got this from the factory and I was there and I was like, you know, you'd see the newspapers like turning brown and like, it was awesome. Uh, that's, I mean, I, I, I really don't get the opportunity to go down to the factories very often anymore. I'm not complaining. I'm just, you know, I haven't been there in a while, but one of my favorite things was to be able to walk through the aging rooms to see those big wheels in the newspaper uh, to smell like the just absolute rich tobacco goodness. Um, de definitely the aging room is much better than the fermentation room. Uh, the fermentation yeah. room, that, I mean, oh. But, if you need uh, clear out, you need clear out your sinuses, man. Fermentation is the place to go. That's for sure. That's yeah, for sure. I mean, we'll, we'll, have to get you down to, we'll have to get you down to the factory again soon, man. For sure. That'd be great. Yeah. We've been a bunch well, together, but it's just been a long time since you, I brought you down. Yeah, I mean, you're, you know, you're down there for what, like 
almost half the year. So it's like you and Jaime are, are boots on the ground and, and right. you guys, you guys get it all taken care of, but. So yeah, we uh, buy yeah, the stuff. Ever... You, uh, we buy it. You mark it down. Customers win. <laughs> Everybody fucking wins. Hey, hey listen, I'm sure people get tired here. of listening to our banter, and I see Jonathan. I think he's oh. he's ready to join us. But before we do, let's give away more shit. But why don't you? So let's give away more shit right now. Uh, first person to respond in the comments, Timbo. Why don't you pick the buzzword for our second giveaway? Uh, let's go beer. 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 Nice. Yeah. All right. First person right here in the comments. Winner of the Drew Estate Deadwood uh, accessory pack in the back. Awesome. Awesome giveaway. I, you know, I asked them, I go, what, what's the uh, suggested retail on this? They don't even have one because they don't sell it. Like, you have to go to these special events to get it. So this is a real oh. treat. And it's got to be. I mean, dude, between the lighter, the holder, and that, that nice bag, I mean, you're probably talking a couple hundred bucks, man, each. For sure. Yeah, yeah I, I, again, I, I'd be, I was impressed with it. I'd be really stoked to get one as a, as a gift or, you know, uh, to, uh, as a prize, winning a prize. It, it's, it's a really nice set. So good job oh, yeah. on getting some cool stuff. No, thank you, Drew Estate. Here, let's get John in yeah. here uh, right now. Uh, he looks like he is standing by. Oh, there he is. Hello. Look at that guy. Holy shit. It is a man, ladies and gentlemen, it is the man, the myth, the legend, Jonathan Drew. Everyone, Drew Estate. Uh, dude, John, well, welcome and thank you, man. I can't thank you enough that you have uh, decided to help us kick this thing off right and and be my my big celebrity. Yo, well, it's it's my pleasure. It's great to see you guys. You know, uh, we've uh, we've known each other a long time. And when I see any projects that you're working on, man, I always got your back and I always enjoy them, whether I'm on them or Drew Estate or not across the industry platforms. You guys are always bringing value to the consumers and you're having fun and doing it first class. So it's my pleasure and uh, welcome everybody to to your new world. <laughs> That's right, man. The big barn. Well, uh, you know, I, I know you are a busy man and, uh, I got Tim here with me. I know you met before, uh, but we want to dig up. It's good with you, man. We want to get right into it. And I know, you know, I was looking at some other videos so other people have done, and I think we've covered a lot of where Drew Estate, you know, the early days and stuff. And I would love to get a lot of your take on some of the new things going on. And the two things that Tim and I were talking about were both 20 acre farm and Deadwood. And I don't know if we could spend a little more of our time this 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 uh, our time with you in those two areas. But uh, please tell us if you don't mind uh, where this twenty acre farm thing came from. Is that kind of a reserve de chateau or, or the uh, or the chateau real? Pardon me, uh, kind of genesis. I mean, dude, everyone wants to know. You know, thanks so much, dude. So the big burn, baby. I love it. I love it. Good to see you, Tim. Hey man, good to see you too, JD. Yeah, man, it's been it's been a minute. So, yeah. so yeah, a couple of the you, you you mentioned about you know what your estate's been at, what we've been what we've been doing. Um, a couple of the brand highlights there, you nailed it. Uh, Twenty acre farm is a big deal for us. Uh, Twenty acre farm, you know, when you really love when in tobacco, when you really love a tobacco a type of tobacco. And you're like, I'm in love with this. You start blending with it. You start using it. You start creating uh, um, blends with it. And people who you share it with say, you know, it's good. There's something about it I love, but it's something it's not ready yet, or it's not, it's not, it's green or, and you're like, wait, you're scratching your head. You're like, no, no, I see it. I see. It. And not just me. It could be, it could be any blenders or any people who really truly work with tobacco, not just an industry guy who sell who a manufacturer it could even be a farmer or a seed developer, right? And they're seeing some gift in a tobacco, a strain, a a um uh a new genetic, what whatever it is, but a taste ultimately. Sometimes it takes a while to get there. And to not just push people into believing your bullshit, 
not just push people into being, you know, caught up in the fantasy of the romance, but actually you have to step back and say, I know there's something here that's beautiful, that's never been done for, tasted for, but I'm not there yet. The 20 Acre Farm brand uh, has gone through that journey and now we've got it right. And we were, we've were we made progress each step of the way. And and this farm, the, the name 20 Acre Farm is about Jeff, Jeff Borshowitz's farm in um, Orlando. And uh, I love this area of Orlando. Um, it's, uh, I even bought 10 acres out there with Jeff uh, myself. That's how much I love the area. I love the farming, I love the, the agricultural space out there. And this farm is producing incredible tobacco, but it took some time for us. And early on, we created a brand called, called uh, Florida Sun Grown. And it was really the earlier dimension, the earlier uh, work, work product that ultimately led for us to say, hey, this is an amazing taste. There's there's something there that's unbelievable. Now let's move on, and we're going to to go to round two here, and the reconceptualization, the revisualization of the brand, um, needed to change for for many reasons, including the tobacco selections, wrapper, filler, binder across the board. So, for those who've tried Twenty Acre Farm, they know, they know. This is a non fuck around Connecticut. Um, Twenty Acre Farm is, you know, it it is a luxury brand for us at Drew Estate. We call it a super premium, but to me, it's already it's already in the luxury category. This is like we're going to use top tobaccos, and typically when we, at Drew Estate, we're we're a Maduro heavy company. Everybody knows that about us. Liga Provada Nine T fifty two. Uh, Undercrown 10, Undercrown Maduro, many of the products that we're really known for in terms of our traditional space uh, is really heavy leaf, dark, heavy, broadleaf bully style, big, giant, Brazilian, heavy uh, uh, Matafina materials. Um, so for us, the Connecticut space is something that has taken a lot of learning. It's taken a lot for us to want to go there also we've always had this profile as a heavy heavy leaf that you state a heavy cigar really strong full body rich in flavor big bomb material so with 20 acre farm i mean we got it right we don't always get it right and <laughs> along the journey of 20 acre farm uh when in earlier editions in my opinion we didn't have it right but we nailed this so 20 acre farm what you're really getting is this connecticut shade a uh, super premium fucking Connecticut top shit. And then the blend itself is just really um, finessed in a way where, you know, certain to, certain times when you have a heavy cigar uh, that's got some tobaccos that are so predominant, if you put in really aged tobacco and you put in really like softer tobacco, we call softer, like less strong, that's got these incredible nuances to it, that super strong, heavy leaf material blows it away so much from it. Uh, it dominates your palate so much and your smell that you wasted the material. So lots of times when you when you see people smoking lighter cigars, you guys have great inventories of, of different Connecticut or lighter brands of forgetting Drew Estate. And and they're they're subtler and they're they're sophisticated and and they're really finessed. And um, we're so used to throwing elbows and, and, you know, giant blows to the dome that sometimes for us to pull it back a little bit and go like, look, we're going to play at a sophisticated level here that's, you know, that's less of that bully material. That's where 20 Acre Farm and, and it took us a while. It took us years, quite honestly, to get it right. And now the results are crazy because for me, as president of the business, um, I'm looking from one piece of it as the passion project. And from another piece of the business, I'm driving value to shareholders and, and, and building, you know, creating wealth for the, for the ownership. And then ultimately all of that for me comes down to the consumer, the consumer for me, I I've been consumer centric 
Alex, you know this from day one. And the consumer speaks to you through their wallet. They speak to you through, you know, their interactions with you. And if the, the consumer is everything to me, and it's not just that they buy more and more and more, we can't make enough of it. It doesn't even matter at this point. We're, we're, we're allotting it out monthly as it comes in. So 20 Acre Farm is a big deal for us. The other one that you mentioned um, is Deadwood. Deadwood. Well, and that was really Tim's question. Uh, Tim, what your specific thing had to do with the infusion, right? Well, I mean, Deadwood came out and I feel like it was a little bit of a soft rollout and it just, I mean, it blew up and I, I was a little bit shocked. I like the imagery. I like the branding of it, but I'm thinking to myself, this is essentially a enhanced cigar. You know, it's, it's, it's traditional in some ways, but there's something else going on in the blend and it blew up and the guys that were smoking it seemed to me, uh, you know, and it's kind of, um, uh, I didn't, I didn't have any actual statistics on it, but it just seemed to me like the guys that like Deadwood were more traditional cigar smokers and they really gravitated toward Deadwood. And I was, I was just surprised and it's, it's just stayed going. It just, it just keeps going up. So I just wanted to get uh, JD's take on it. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Tim. Yeah. Deadwood is like one of these really, you know, there's brands that you release where you just know it's going to be huge underground 10. We know yeah. we have to blend right. It's our skill set, heavy leaf, full bodied. Great presentation. Bro. Great yeah, presentation, presentation, right? Yeah. We knew it was going to be just, just master bomb work. So other brands, you're like, hey, we're going to take some risk. We're Drew Estate. We don't play it just safe down the middle. We're okay if we strike out because we'll stay at it for three and four and five years and keep going until you get it right. Right. So I'm not, and we are not afraid to take risk, push the boundaries, create new market segments, which you guys all know we have. It's unquestionable. Um, so with this brand, you know, with Deadwood, it was like, we're now getting to a point more sophisticated. Look, I, I'm, I've been in the business now 27 years. We're, we're more sophisticated, more intelligent, more wise, right, Alex? I mean, we're wiser. <laughs> When we were younger, you too, Tim. We certainly better, were, certainly better, certainly better looking. Ah, uh, dude, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I learned from Nas. So, <laughs> so bottom line is, is that um, with the Deadwood brand, you know, you said a soft rollout. Talk about a soft rollout. That rollout was like fucking five years, bro. That rollout, we started it. Really, we were speaking to the the military. Uh, Cigars for Warriors, which Drew Estate funded from day one, you know, there's that's that's the facts. And we've been through Cigars for Warriors was always like this little brand we were making for my my friend Vaughn, a retailer, one of my first 14 retailers from back in 96 when I when I started. And this little brand was for her store. And it was a size, Sweet Jane. And then from there, it developed into another size. And from there, you know, so the 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 every year we'd add a size and people just freaking out about it. But we were like, yo, everybody in the military loves Vaughn because she was one of the biggest supporters of Cigars for Warriors. And we were like, yo, the whole military crowd and police crowd, they love Deadwood because Vaughn is this incredibly beautiful, wonderful woman who's got her own little brand with your estate. It was like this little cool nugget, right? So we couldn't tell if it was like loyalty to Vaughn or loyalty to the brand that they liked so much. Or was it just this exciting cigar that came out of Deadwood at the big bike event every year? Right. right? So we couldn't tell what the hell was going on. Right. But people wanted more. So every year we gave them a little more and gave them a little more. And this went on for like five years, but dick around shit. You're like yeah. tiny, tiny little quantities. I mean, Drew Estates at this point, probably the biggest company in the world in terms of a manufacturer. You know, and during those years, maybe we were second or third as it was growing. Right. So, you know, the Deadwood brand later, as we started to produce real quantity in the millions and fives and, and bigger millions of dollars, I'm going to get into the numbers, but it's it's kind of surprising. And as we saw the brand grow, we've realized, yeah, people love Drew Estate. That's part of it. People love Vaughn and what we've done for Cigars for Warriors with that early base being a lot of military dudes to smoke it. But they love that cigar. For people who haven't had Deadwood, you nailed it. It's a lot of the people who smoke traditional cigars and heavier cigars, whether it's a Drew Estate, 
whether it's a Liga, whether it's a Padron, whether it's a Fuente or a Rocky, it's just surprising. And it's not any of those. It could be any brand, right? People who smoke traditional cigars tend to like this stick, especially when they're moved for something milder, for sure, and something really with a big bouquet. This cigar does stank up the room. It's not like acid. It, it has a very different taste, very different smell and scent. It's it's if you put them together, it's like you know, it's like steak and lamb. I guess there's some kind of things there. It's it would be ridiculous. So the Deadwood brand, um people who know, you know, it, it's crazy and people love it, and it's men and women. Men and women, and there's a lot of women smokers who love it, and there's a lot of dudes who love Deadwood too. So, what makes the brand different, right? Uh, typically, when you work tobaccos, uh, we think of different you know, people think of the seed and they think of where the tobacco is grown, the country of origin. What I spend a lot of time, Cigar Safari or Barn Smoker, is to teach people about the process. What we do in the barn, what we do when the tobacco reaches Nicaragua, like you guys know, when you work in pilones and the process, right? So the seed, country of origin, the process. And when you start to think about most of the dark air cured tobaccos, we, we tend to go, oh, you know, these tobaccos are like the world of tobacco, but they fucking ain't the world of tobacco. The world of tobacco is a huge world. And there's processes, air curing, fire curing. Um, or oriental style and flu curing, which uses heat and not smoke. There's many different, what I call the basic food groups, the five basic food groups of seeds, the five basic food groups of ferment, of, of, of curing. And then from there, how do you put those combinations together? So a lot of the tobacco areas that are indigenous for more of pipe tobacco, um, they, there's many of you have smelled it before or tasted it before, but a lot of those areas, the, the, the tobaccos in Deadwood come from those areas for, for areas that are typically where you're going to be growing pipe tobacco. So a lot of the material that we use in the Deadwood brand is, you know, it's got these very like um, reminiscent smells and tastes and very like familiar. It feels like home when you smoke a Deadwood, right? It feels like, you know, it just feels very familiar. So the taste and smell of it is unique. And people who haven't tried it, um, you know, you should buy like a three pack, four pack, whatever, a five pack of it and, tr and try some of the different sizes because they all taste different from each other. And uh, we've been lucky, you know, uh, we've been lucky on the brand because it could have been a brand that was just shunned off as like, you know, a Jura State wild thing, but people really across the board, a lot of the traditional guys and gals have, have enjoyed it. That's it, awesome. It, yeah, it, you know, it, it's funny when you talk about the the non-traditional, I always think of uh, Latakia, you know, in Syria and how they burn the pine. Um, you know, people burn pine in their homes and, and they cure that tobacco in their homes and it takes on some of that pine. And that's what I always think about when I think about it. It feels like home or smells like home. You know, I think that you hit the nail uh, perfectly. I, I think the one thing, you know, and that was great explanation on Deadwood and yeah. 20 Acre Farm. Our guys are going to love that. I think one thing everybody wants to know outside of that is, you know, in a, in, in a summary mode, I doubt you could do it in, in one paragraph, but what is next for Jonathan Drew? Well, uh, you know, it's, I've always got surprises, right? Projects that I'm working on. I've realized, you know, friends of mine have, have said to me, people, you know, we're, I'm spaced out all over the world. I, I'm sometimes in Nicaragua. I'm sometimes in the United, all throughout the United States, Central America. Um, people are surprised. They see me in Cuba. They see me in, in, in uh, Kentucky or wherever. And I've made so many friends all spread out. So I don't get to see people that often. But when I do, it's just really meaningful and loving. And I, it's something that I really thrive on. And, and numerous times I've had friends say, J.D., you know, you, you, you're you happy, but you live in a very aggressive place in your, in your mind. You know, you live in a world of change, of constant change. And I've realized that, you know, that I'm always in a state of um, deconstruction and reconstruction. 
So sometimes when I feel like we at the company at Drew State have something perfect, I want to undo it, rip it apart, and redo it. And it's the same thing with my life. So basically, Alex, I got a new big ass bar opening in Wynwood. Uh, nice. It's it's called Wynwood Cocktail Lounge, and it's a live music venue. Um, uh, this is a serious operation. I've put about six million bucks cash money out of my own pocket into it. So this is a unbelievable one of Winwoods, if not the biggest bar. They're real four COP cup quota, you know, live music, live entertainment, crazy bar. You know, through my failure at John Drew Brands um, in the spirits world, it wasn't like I got punched in the face like 45 times and just laid there and didn't get up. I just had to get up and kind of catch my breath a little bit and, and, you know, and go from there. So on a personal level, I always have projects like that. People know me, know I'm deep into crypto and NFT spaces and stuff like that in terms of art. And of course, art work in, in and of itself and graffiti is still a huge part of my life. So I'm still doing things there and, and, and business things there as well. Uh, working with Sotheby's, Red Bull, doing many different shows with some of the artists that I collect as one of the biggest graffiti artist collectors in the in graffiti collectors in the world. So it's a combination of Drew Estate, always kind of center focused. Some of my passion projects, like the big bar that we're open, the Winwood Cocktail Lounge, which will be in December. And then art between those three things, you know, and a little time with family, you know, and chilling, man. I hear you, man. That but was congratulations. Like one paragraph. Like <laughs> I was like four <laughs> Four or five paragraphs, I think. Yeah, yeah. right. Tim, Tim yeah. and I had a side bet on that. Uh, yeah, well, well you there's some man. My, my customers love you, and I'm sure they're going to love to to get in and try some stuff. I can't thank you enough for helping be a part of kind of this new show and what we're doing. And we want to have you back. That, that's the one thing. Last thing I'm going to ask you is, when we invite you back, will you please come back? Because we've got a lot more to cover, but we're just trying to keep everything you know a little short and concise and crisp. You know. Yo, no doubt. I'll definitely be back. It, it was true. I really mean it. I love the fact that you guys brought me on for your first show. There's plenty of guys, all, all of us, you know, equally good and cool and good at what we do. And so, so thank you so much for thinking of Drew Estate. And uh, thanks for inviting me. And really, congratulations on all your success. And uh, have fun with the show, man. It's a great show. Thanks, brother. All right, John. We'll see you soon. All right. Cool, guys. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Later. Dude, that was amazing. That was uh, amazing. I mean, it's, it's JD. What do you expect? Uh, I, I wish we could spend more time with him, but we are trying to kind of keep these episodes, you know, real concise. Just talk a little bit about what we're smoking, maybe some current events and cigar news. Get get the guest in. Man, you know, I could have kept him for, I could have talked to him for hours, man. Uh, and you know him. I mean, he could have talked to for he hours, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> but he he looked great. He looked really good. Yeah, man. I uh, I I hope uh, all of our guests will be that awesome. And yeah. you know, like I said, next week is uh, Matt Booth. If any of our listeners have questions for Matt or for us, you can always email VIP at uh, cigarpage dot com. Um, and a uh, big thank you to Jonathan. Thank you, to Drew Estate, for all the free stuff. And uh, yeah, man, you got anything you want to add? Thanks for joining joining me for the uh, for the big inaugural episode. Yeah, thanks you want for add? having me? Yeah, no, thanks for having me. If there's ever another episode in the future that you you want uh, someone to hop on and sit here and smoke cigars, I'll be happy to do so. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But, uh, hey, but hey, you know what? We still got one more. We got one more thing to give away, bro. You want to do another? Oh, okay. Day? You're the guest. You're the guest host. Uh, let's give away that third and final Deadwood set. Uh, and Timbo, take us away. What's the buzzword for people? You'd be the first one to type in the comments. You will win. Assuming you haven't already won today. But Timbo, give us the buzzword. The buzzword is uh, smoke. Smoke. Nice. Nice. Okay. So uh, buzzword smoke. First one to type it in the comments. Will be our third winner today. Assuming you didn't already win earlier today, then we will go down to the next person who writes the word smoke. So even if you think you've lost, fire it in there. That way, you know, you're in line. You never know. Uh, and make sure if you do believe you are the winner to uh, email us at uh, VIP at cigarpage.com. Make sure you are who you say you are. We'll get you. First. So cool, man. Well, yeah, next next episode, Matt Booth and uh, guest host, Brandon Searfoss, your buddy. 
Uh, oh. I, I know another longtime coworker, but he's fun. Have fun. Have fun with him. He's a barrel of laughs. Oh uh, yeah, no, I know. I think he only likes doing videos with you because you guys drink together. I'm, I'm a little. You're allowed to cocktail, but. I mean, you you taught me how to drink, Alex. So I did teach you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for joining us, Tim. Again, thank you, Jonathan Drew. And hey, uh, please remember subscribe, like this video, make sure the notifications turned on. Be your best chance to win stuff. Uh, tuning in to the Big Burn. I'm Alex Fenson, and I will see you in about a week. Bye. Later.